Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, and welcome back to some more Black Ops 2 videos. And holy shit, that's the wallpaper you get when you brood off Amazon. That is absolutely awesome. Anyway, I'm here to bring you guys some more zombies information because, uh, you know, that's what our channel evolves around, and that's what we love to see. Because, I mean, any sort of zombie information I bring to you guys straight away. Now, Call of Duty tweeted this out last night with the caption saying, Zombies are coming, where's your shotgun? And Oh my god, okay, first off, you've got a really, really nice looking lady, but when this is into the world of zombies, you know that we've got to analyse this, this picture and take a look at it. So we've got a woman here holding what is a double barrel shotgun on her back, and it's uh, been identified as the Winchester. You can see in the background, it says the number two, you know, the two two ones or the two eyes however you'd say but uh, in, in this picture we've got a few different things now if we zoom in here we notice that the uh, woman here is holding uh, what looks like the spinal cord uh, of the uh, actual um, skeleton head that you can see on her arm there which is pretty which is really really strange um if we look at uh, what she's got on her waist we see some sort of blade uh, it doesn't look to be very uh wide in a kind of kind of wide but it looks really really long and uh what comes to think is who is this woman because there's a load of different uh different answers we can gather from this uh what i believe is that because she's holding a skull and there's other skulls on the ground and there's a big two on the back. Um, since uh, we have this idea that uh, Treyarch were going to have the uh, Paris Catacombs as a map. But eventually changed it to Moon. Um, I have a slight feeling that what where this woman is, is in the Paris Catacombs. Now, uh, there's a few things, that, there's a few ideas that you can gather from this. Saying that this girl in this picture could be Samantha grown up. Uh, which could mean that zombies do have time periods if you consider that Black Ops 2 will have some sort of time travel. But if it's Samantha, then that's Richtofen, right? So what it could also be is it could be um, Samantha, uh, who was Rick. We got a, we got a clear list, right? Okay. So what happens in the end of the Moon Easter Egg? Sam swaps bodies of Richtofen. So the the body of Richtofen has Samantha inside it and the body of Samantha has Richtofen in it. So this girl could be Samantha and after Moon she kind of disposed of Richtofen's body and she found a new body. Now what could have happened is either Sam could have been reincarnated and grew up or she simply possessed a new body. So what the hell happens to our three characters here? Could it be that Tank, Takio and Nikolai are all dead and Samantha has gone off on her own to get revenge on Richtofen and has just gathered up a load of different allies to help her along the way? And the fact that there's so many skulls and stuff around, that the emphasis is on skulls in this picture, uh, are completely um, uh, on the thought of it actually being the Paris Catacombs. As Paris, you know, it's been tossed around a lot uh, I just said toss and I think it's time that Treyarch done it and I think we all knew it as well if you guys didn't see on Doris there was a chalkboard and on the board there was a picture of zombies underneath the Eiffel Tower so that pretty much uh, confirms that they were going to have a Paris map and if you watch the Call of Duty zombies panel at COD XP they did say they were going to do a Paris map but then at the last minute they changed to a uh, moon which we all know and we all loved which was really 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 good so, this is the post that you get for pre-ordering the game, uh, I believe, from GameStop. But there's a few other things that come to mind here when we think of who this uh, woman could be. It could also happen to be uh, Samantha's mum. Uh, it could be... Uh, do do, do, check, do uh, help me on this. Um, Sophia. She's mentioned a lot in the Deree's radios. Now, I believe that Sophia is... Uh, Max is his wife uh, but I have some kind of feelings that um, it, she could also be Sam but just a different name because the way that uh, the name is used in the context of all the radios kind of makes it sound like Sam but um, we just have to see it could also be uh, the woman that Max is cheated on uh, as well that was uh, that could be a pretty interesting uh, theory. But what we can tell here is uh, this is still the zombies that we know and love. As you can see, there is a, a sign of a teddy bear that's kind of facing away from this woman here. And there's also a fire hydrant uh, on the right. I don't know if that has any significance. But there's just loads of stuff 
that uh, it's underneath the ground that we can't particularly make out. But I just really can't wait for this. The, the, the plot lines keep twisting and turning at every single turn. And if we're only this early, it, look, it's May. The game doesn't come out till November. And already we've got so much to speculate on. It's really, really amazing. But, you know, we've been, hint we've been told that uh, it's going to be running off the multiplayer engine. So we're going to have eight player co-op. So there's obviously going to have to be a, a few more characters than what we already have. So what is going to happen? I mean... Could Tank, Nikolai, and uh, Takio have died on Moon? Because, I mean, without Richtofen, they don't exactly understand the technology to time travel back. Because Richtofen was the only one that understood the t teleporting technology. If you look at Call of the Dead, uh, the Easter egg, Richtofen was the only one that was capable of actually taking them out of there. So, I don't know. Guys... Feel free to leave the comments down below on what you make of this. I'm honestly so intrigued to hear your opinions and thoughts on this. Uh, I'll, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so for the latest in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 news. Mostly focused on zombies, but if multiplayer or anything else is of any interest or significance, I'll send you guys that as well. Uh, feel free to inbox me on YouTube if you find any more finds. I'll be sure to uh, I read every single comment, every single uh, message that I get on YouTube. If you did enjoy, feel free to hit the like button as that is really awesome. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care and I'll see you soon.